All right, guys, so my next project is to update my battery backup for my sub pump. So I've been using um, this watch, dog, which I'm sure many of you have used, um, but the battery died and I, I've always wanted to go um, lithium phosphate, but they don't really make any lithium phosphate uh, systems. So I am going to be doing my own kind of a custom built solution. Uh, they'll be kind of a dual purpose uh, sub pump and then, you know, and then also back up all my, uh, you know, networking equipment as well. And I know the wire management needs some work, but I'm in my crawl space here. So it's a little messy, but, um, but yeah, so this is my old one and let's jump into my new system and I'll kind of go through what I'm doing here. All right, guys, here's a quick little part two. So I've finally gotten all my, uh, components here. And right now I'm just kind of doing a dry run, making sure everything works. You know, all the wiring's good before I start kind of doing it more permanently. So at this point, kind of what we have here, and I kind of don't have really good lighting here. So actually, here, let me see if I can turn my flashlight on. There we go. Okay. So at this point, um, what we have here is my inverter right here. I've got a 200 um, amp hour battery and a charger right there. And then a uh, Z-Wave powered relay switch. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to run my primary pump. Well, I'm going to use this transfer switch right here. And we're going to go ahead and hook up the primary pump to this inverter. So basically it's, there's going to be kind of a backup within a backup within a backup here. So the primary pump will run through AC power. If that goes out, the switch will then transfer the power to the inverter and hopefully I should be good there but if in the event there's a pump failure so at this point it's not a power issue but rather a uh, mechanical issue at that point then it'll switch over to my uh, 12 volt DC pump and that's what this Z-Wave switch is for so that's a smart relay uh, Z-Wave controlled and that will then activate the backup pump um, to let me know um, that at that point it'll alert me as well that this has been activated so if, if this gets activated that means that there's likely a mechanical failure or an inverter failure because the DC ones can be hooked up directly to the battery itself so if the inverter fails the DC pump will still run so that at that point it will give me an alert um, oh, and there goes the pump um, and essentially this relay, it's a Zen 17, it's a double relay. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up both relays in parallel. One relay will be activated via my hub. So it's kind of like a smart, smart switch. But if my hub goes down, like there's a power outage and the hub you know, is down from power, then the second relay switch is just gonna be activated by a contact sensor. So that's kind of my setup. I hope that kind of made sense. This is all kind of temporarily because I was waiting about a week for all my components and I needed something just in the event of a failure. So I was using my uh, battery packs down there. But that's kind of in a nutshell kind of uh, how this is all going to look. All right, guys. So here is my f kind of uh, final setup here. Um, at least how it's connected. I might have to kind of play with it, how to better organize it. but. As you can see, let me try to get this here. So we have the battery is down here. I have the charger connected. Got my inverter on top, and then I have a uh, a switch here to switch between AC and battery. I just gonna kind of have to figure out how to better like organize this. But uh, the way I have this set up actually is that. I have a Z-Wave uh, switch here, that's a double switch, which I'm going to actually program to control the charger because I don't want the battery just to be, you know, on the charger all day long. I think it's going to kind of ruin it, so I'm going to have it kind of cycle 
the charge maybe have it charge for like an hour a day or something like that and then um, over here you can kind of see I have that relay which is for the backup pump and then I created a cigarette type connector because that allows me to then switch if I want to and use like a battery power pack like you know like my blue yeti here for example um, so that way I can do that but essentially the inverter is going to power my main pump and then should the inverter if the inverter fails um, or the primary pump fails then the secondary pump will kick in and then this Zen uh, 17 relay switch actually has two ways of powering it it can power through a um, like through the Z-Wave through my Habitat Hub or if in the event that goes down then it can just power by a dry contact this allows me a few ways to have redundancy so essentially primary is through AC power secondary is through inverter and then third is my backup my 12 volt backup pump yeah that's pretty much it so um, I just gotta figure out kind of how to maybe maybe organize this better particularly uh, the, the, the AC uh, switch here so otherwise it works I tested it I just have to figure out how to kind of maybe tidy it up a little bit otherwise I mean it'll, I mean at the end of the day it's fine but it would be nice if I can kind of find a better way to organize it but yeah that is my uh, lithium ion smart sub pump all right take care hello just wanted to give a quick summary of why I built this I've kind of forgot to kind of give a closing uh, summary so there are two main reasons why I built this the way I did is I wanted to use a lithium ion phosphate battery which I couldn't find a pre-built system to support that but I also wanted to add a element of kind of smart to it so using my Hubitat and Z-Wave I'm able to kind of make the charging a little bit more automated so right now I charge the battery an hour every three days however I also added a weather a factor into it so if there was rain in the forecast uh, for tomorrow then it'll charge for six hours just to fully top it off to ensure that I have a full battery going into any potential rain and then of course getting alerts in the event that my primary pump fails so if the backup pump is ever activated I'll get an alert on my phone so I can go make sure that everything is good with the system so that was really kind of my motivation to doing it the way I did and Obviously, um, it's still all new, so I may add or tweak it as I kind of start kind of thinking about other ways I can improve it. But that is all. Thanks for watching. Bye.